Sims anymore. You do not have to be an artist to change the shape of your Sims body. Look at how many manipulation points we have added to the Sim. You can make her the small parts of her arms larger and smaller. We even have shoulder width at this point. This is so amazing. It's so easy. It's so fun. You can just dive right in. Oops, there's some of that UI. And let me just walk you through how many control points we have for the Crazy Sim Sim. So you can see I have her hips, I have her waist, I have her bosoms, we have lift and size, I have her thighs. This was an amazing one, we were so excited when we got thighs. And we have the lower legs, and check this out. You can change the size of your Sim's feet. Let me bring you to the side. Look at that huge change you can get there. And while I've got her turned, I also wanted to point out, depending on the angle you are viewing your Sim from, you have different manipulation control points. So this is one of my favorites right here. We, we can call this the Booty Pow. Booty Pow mod. And you can adjust your Sim's posture from the side. You can adjust the size of her tummy if you would like. Look at that, it's so easy, it's so tactile. I can just reach right in there. If there's something that I wanna change, I just pull it and tug it. And additionally, we have the same type of the system for face customization. We are so excited about this. If you wanna move the eyes around, you just reach right into the game and you pull and you move the eyes. You can move the nose up and down. It's so intuitive, you don't have to think about which slider to use or which way to pull. It just follows your mouse. <laughs> you get the chin, we have the jawline. And again, same with the body. We have different manipulation points depending on which angle you're looking at your sim from. So <laughs> you can move the mouth in and out from this view. You can move the jaw. We have rotational movements. So under the hood here, we have many sliders going to work all in tandem at the same time. <laughs> That's a good one. So I'd also like to direct your attention over to the side here. So one of our big areas of focus in Sims 4 is making sure that we have a broad range of facial bone structures that we can supply people. The most important thing is that you can make yourself. We want people to be able to make themselves. They can make people that they know, that they can relate to. And we have built the Sims faces as interchangeable parts that are so much easier to get ethnic diversity than any previous games that we've had so far. So here's just a few snippets. These are all starter points. You're not locked to any of these faces. So if you'd like to start with one of them, you can then further go in and customize it more with these presets on the side and of course with the direct manipulation modifiers. So while I'm on her, I'm going to bring her back out into body view. Here's another really awesome thing that we've added. So just like I showed you those face presets to change the bone structure, we also have pre-made body shapes because not everybody is built the same way. We have a bunch of different body shapes that you can start from, but you're not locked to them. If you want to still fine tune those details a little bit more, you can just reach right in and do that and get the exact shape that you're looking for. And check like out her abs. Out. She, she has, she out. has. Here's another thing I wanted to pull your attention to. Um, so just like in previous games, we have our regular fitness and we have our, our heaviness sliders, but the sliders now change the definition on your Sims body. So if they lift weights, if they're really working out, they're gonna have a six pack and it's gonna show. Same thing if they eat donuts all day, <laughs> their six pack goes away. It's all right. Um, and also speaking of fine details, if you're a Sims cast, create a Sim player like myself, you wanna go right for advanced mode. We have not limited this away. So just the same way you can reach in and you can pull the higher level features of your Sim, if you enter advanced mode, we have more fine-tuned details. Grab her eyes. Yes. And for the first time ever, check this out. You can change the pupil shape. It's really cool. You can make some really freaky characters if you like. You can make some really beautiful characters if you'd like. It's your blank canvas to work from. So... We're not only about looks. We're not only about looks. We've also got we've also got some really new clothing features for The Sims 4. So, 
Let me show you the one that I'm just so excited about. For the first time ever, and I know I've wanted this so bad, and I know you guys have wanted this so bad, you can pair any hairstyle with any hat that you would like. So they can change independently of each other. Oops, no hair, or short hair, or straight hair. They all go together. We got all these mix and matching opportunities. So let's give her some clothes. We don't have to just look at her in her underwear. Um, another really interesting part of our system that we've added, similar to the hairs and hats, you can also you can also change and add boots and pants. So the boots and pants completely agree with each other, and you can add them together. Let's see. Let me grab a pair of shoes here. So just like in real life, if you want to give her a pair of tight pants and uh, boots, they will tuck in there just the same as they would in real life. But let's give her a shirt. Let's give her a shirt. There. Much better. Much better. So. If we were also to give her a pair of bell-bottoms, the shoes and the pants acknowledge each other and the bell-bottoms would go over the shoes. So it works really well. It's really exciting. It gives us a lot more flexibility. So it's not just about her looks, though, like I mentioned earlier. Since emotions are the core of our game, we have tied in a little bit more extra features for your sims that you can apply to their personalities. So we've had traits in the past games for the first time ever now. You can also preview and set your Sims walk cycle. So, what if you wanted to see what she looks like if she walks a little bit perky? What if you wanted to see her walk a little bit snooty? You can add that extra layer of personality into your Sim right here in Cass, and you can see how they're going to act. It's so much fun. Let's see, and actually, here's my favorite right there. That's the swagger, the swagger walk. That's the swagger. And so for special, special for Gamescom also, we've added in these little buttons. Since emotion is the core, since the sims and how they feel is the core of our game, we've added a few little sneak previews. Uh, Vim, that's what she looks like angry. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what she looks like sad. Aww. And let's see what she looks like when she's happy. Huzzah! Woohoo! <laughs> this is so fun to play with. I love this one. So yeah. How are we doing on time right now? We're doing good. We're that doing is good. Looking awesome. Excellent. It is so cool. We are so excited. You know, and it's um, it's not hard when you have a group of brilliant, talented, creative individuals making a, a game and a feature that they are just so excited and stoked about. But it makes it even easier.